Well, hi, everybody. I'm going to give you the latest update on the Hummingbird uh, Mega Live imaging. Today's June 9th. And so the information I'm giving you is the latest and most up to date information. I'll get rid of my picture here. So this just popped up today on the uh, Hummingbird website. It, it's all over Facebook and the internet now. And so there's actually a commercial that was rolled uh, out right here. It's a Brandon Polanek. I'm not going to show you guys the commercial. You can watch that on your own. But you can see the unit here. Um, and they do show some footage of him fishing. And you'll see how fish react and whatnot. So you get a little glimpse into, into what it's going to look like. As you scroll on here, it it just reconfirms some things that we already knew. Three ways to attack the water, the down mode, the forward mode, the landscape mode. So right now it's on down mode, and they've got some video here. And I've been reading the posts on, on Facebook, and some people are saying, well, this isn't good. Garmin's better. I'll give you my opinion here in a little bit. You click on this, and this is the forward mode. And they have an animation here, and... Uh, they show you how it would be mounted or how it would be angled. So I like that. This is more typical what you see people using the Panoptics Live Scope in this mode. And this would be typically when you're casting out forward ahead of the boat. Uh, you're going to have it angled this way. So you're seeing that was a fish. It was just caught there, it looks like. And then you can go to the landscape mode. And you can see that they're showing this is how it would be situated on the trail motor. This is your view. And then this is showing the fish and you can see the shadows of the fish. So if you're familiar with uh, 360 or side imaging, you'll understand what those shadows mean and whatnot. So you've got those three things to look at. Um, if I keep scrolling down, it says Mega Live Transducer Accessory. And it says upgrading to Mega Live Imaging is simple, connect, blah, blah, blah. But then it says, um, attach the three position mega live transducer to your trolling motor and you're ready to fish. It sounds like the trolling motor mount does not come with it. And so you're going to have to buy that separately. Um, you can click on this to explore. And there it goes. It's going to open up a new window and it, it shows you this mount over here. You've got a bunch of different views to look at things. So this is the mount on the trolling motor itself. You can see that's the down mode. That's the forward mode. And that's the uh, landscape mode. And then this is just showing. It looks like there's a button here and a button here. And in this next photo, you can see the person's kind of pinching those. So I'll go back to that one. So basically, with one hand, you're going to pinch that, and that'll release, and then you would swivel this. So it looks like it's pretty easy to adjust. You don't have any, really need any tools, it looks like. And again, this is all uh, just my speculation. I don't have inside knowledge from Hummingbird at all. Uh, what, one thing that is apparent to me in this view, you can see the 360 here. And this, and they're, they're not going to get in the way of each other. And it's amazing how close you can put this to the head of the trolling motor. It looks like it's intended to be that way. So that's kind of interesting. Um, those of you that have had the Pyanoptics live scope, getting it mounted on the trolling motor is a little bit of a hassle. You need a, you need a, a mount that comes not from Garmin at all. It's got it from a third party. Uh, let's see, they've got information here that you can read through. Again, I'm not going to read through all this for you guys. You guys can read this yourselves. But I've never seen this so succinct. So compatible Hummingbird control heads. And they have this written in a really nice, easy to understand way. It's Helix 8 through 15, Generation 3 and 4 models with mega imaging. So I do know some people that have bought a Gen 3 or a Gen 4 model thinking that they could use it for their live, but they didn't buy the mega one. So it has to have mega imaging, all Solix models and all Apex models. So this sums it up in a very nice, easy way as to what uh, what's going to be compatible with it. Um, let's see, that's just support. You can click on specs, but there's really nothing there. 
there's not much. This is the specs for the, the mounts, I believe. And this is the UPC number, but I don't even see that that mount is not available. So speaking of availability, um, I got this email today from Russell Marine. And again, as you guys know, if you've seen my other videos, I have pre-ordered this. I pre-ordered it a while ago. And it is, like I said, June 9th right now. It says shipping is estimated to begin in the fall of 2021. So, and then they talk about some bundles here that they're selling to try to uh, get you to buy the head unit as well as the, the live. So, so there you go. Um, so my impressions, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Hummingbird. I know there are some Hummingbird haters out there and probably not going to change their opinion on anything. Um, but I did own a Garmin Panoptix Live Scope. And if you look at, see if I can find the right image right here. If you look at this, with the Garmin, you had a very narrow band where the fish would be in really good focus. And then when you get out of that band, they're very distorted or you don't even see them at all. So it was very narrow. And this says, um, let's see if I can find where it is. Edge to edge clarity right here. So they're calling it edge to edge clarity. And what that means is there's no gaps in the sonar coverage. So you can have as clear of an image out here on the outer portions of the cone as you will in the middle. And to me, that in itself is a big advancement over the Garmin. Now, obviously, I haven't used one of these yet. I haven't seen it. But just looking at this video right here, and if you watch the little commercial with Brandon Polinek, uh, are you going to see the details of the fish? Are you going to see their fins? No. But really, with a Garmin, you're not going to either. Uh, but I think you're going to see a much wider, broader area, which means you don't have to be moving it as much. When when I had the Garmin, and I, I'm a bass fisherman, so I'm, I'm hunting fish constantly. I'm not just anchored in one spot generally. Um, the, the problem with the Garmin, I had it on my trolling motor because I wanted it to, to move so I could swing it right and left and scan the area. But when I would get it perfect where I could see fish like this, if those fish moved out of that narrow angle, they became very hard to see, and so I was constantly having to search for them, even when I was casting, and that was kind of a pain. So this already looks like an advancement. Um, so we'll see. Again, it's all speculation. So that's the information that I have. Um, again, it's looking like the guys have them for the Bassmasters Classic, so we're going to see people like Brandon Polinek and, and Chris Seldane and some others that are, that are hummingbird uh, pros you're going to see them using them. They'll probably be talking about them, especially if they're doing well at the tournament. And obviously, if they do well at the tournament using one of these units, then the orders for these is just they're just going to go through the roof. Um, but as you know, with the pandemic and everything, that's really slowed a lot of stuff down, especially with the digit, the, the chips. Um, we're seeing the same thing in the car industry and, and the motorcycle industry. Um, it's, it's slowing down everything just that. The supply chain has slowed down because of COVID. But now that uh, things are opening back up, we're going to should start seeing some of these plants ramp up. So that's the latest on what we have from Mega Live Imaging. I am excited. I was hoping to get it here this summer, but if I have to wait till fall, so be it. Um, so thanks for watching and keep in tune with all my updates. Again, I'm going to do the full install and then my first time on the water. Uh, how to use it, and I'll, then I'll go into a deep dive on how to do the settings and everything. So that'll be coming up uh, as I once I get my unit.